we all love custom roms and in today's video i'll be showing you guys how you can flash one on your pixel 3a 3xl and 4a devices the method remains same throughout the device until specified also you need to do some things prior to following this method that is install the device drivers and set up your adb and fast boot mode links to that will be in the description down below well with that said let's begin with the video One of the essential things that we need to do is enable USB debugging. So in order to do that, first we need to go to settings. Now in settings, you scroll down until you see about phone. Now in about phone, scroll down until you see your build number and tap it several times until it asks you for your pin or it says you are now a developer. Now once you see those messages, just go back. Now go to system and search for a newly unlocked option called developer options. Now in developer options, scroll until you find USB debugging and make sure that you turn it on. Now since we have done that, let's connect our phone to our PC using good quality cables. Bad quality cables might summon demons on your phone. So be aware. Now on your system, make sure that you copy and paste the ROM files to the folder where you have set up your ADB and fastboot. Remember to paste the custom ROM files to the folder where you have set up ADB and fastboot. This is very important. Now if you are using my files or you downloaded my files, so you will find CMD here in my files. So just double click it and the command bar will open. Now in command prompt type ADB devices and press enter and you might see your device. If you don't just head, take a look over your device there will be a prompt waiting for your response now once you see your device type in adb reboot bootloader what this command will do is reboot your device to the bootloader mode now once your device successfully rebooted the bootloader now head over to command prompt and type in fast boot devices now you will see your device only if you have installed the proper drivers for your pixel device so make sure that you install the drivers correctly now let's do the very important thing that is copy the name of the boot image that the custom rom files had so as you can see i'm copying the boot image name of the boot image yeah so after i've done that now i'll type in fast boot flash boot followed by the name of the file so remember we copied the name so i'll just paste it here and make sure that i type the extension of the file name that is dot img and press enter which will begin the flashing process so let it flash now once the boot image is successfully flashed now don't reboot your device so we need to go to recovery so we'll use the volume keys and the power keys to select and navigate between the options so i'll use my power up button until i see recovery mode and i'll use the power button to confirm the selection and now the device will reboot to the recovery now depending upon your developer you might see a whole new recovery which is touch based or the same old recovery so in my case i have a new recovery with touch enabled Now once in the recovery, we need to perform factory reset. This is very essential because any corrupted data or encryption will be erased. So perform a factory reset and don't worry if you see a long string of failures. It's all normal. Don't panic. Yeah, a failure something like this. So don't panic. It's all good. Now go back. Now once you are back home to the rec uh, recovery, up select apply update and select apply update from ADB and once you select that option, you will see something like this on the bottom. So in order to start flashing, we need to connect our phone to the PC using good quality cables. You know, good quality cables. Don't want any demons. Now back on the computer. So it's time that we start flashing for real. So type in ADB side load and copy the name of the ROM file so just rename it Control C and come back and paste the name of the ROM file and please don't forget 
to type in the extension of the file that is dot zip and don't be a clumsy fool like me please spell things correctly and once you have cross checked everything and the command looks good to go just press enter and the flashing process will begin don't fiddle with your device and for laptop users don't let your device sleep and as you can see you will see these things on your phone step one step two initializing update so don't fiddle with your device Now the flashing process may not finish up to 100%, it's completely fine, some might stop at 47, 53, etc, etc, as long as you see installation complete with status 0 on your bootloader. Now once you see and know that the flashing process is completed, go back and perform a factory reset again. Yes, because your phone won't boot until and unless you factory reset your device and also Chotto Mate. Your phone won't reboot either until and unless you press that subscribe button, share this video with your pixel friends and like this video. Once the formatting is completed, reboot your device, set up the ROM and enjoy. Well that would be it for this video guys. Hope you like it, hope this video helps and if you have any concern or problem regarding this method, make sure that you type it in the comments and I will try to solve it out. Well, thanks for watching. Have a great day.